Okay, right. Some uh, some people asked for uh, what we're on, what type of boats have we got, and what's on them, and so on and so forth. So, a quick 101. Uh, we'll start off with the with the tender boat. The tender boat is a roughneck um, a little tender boat. It says it's a roughneck R160, and what that means is it's small. <laughs> um, it's got a Mariner 60 um, Bigfoot. Um, on the end there, uh, it's got built-in fuel tanks, um, pretty low down to the water. I think it's going to be a little bass, but um, but it's ideal. Um, suits us suits us quite well. It does have a bass motor, which is really great for um, getting through the trees um, and not having to run the run the main motor. Um, it is pretty low down to the water and not ideal for Kariba um, at all with regards to the to the crocodiles. And as we have found out when towing it behind in rough weather um, it does take a bit of bashing and it also takes on quite a bit of, uh, of water so that's the tender boat so on the back there you'll see there's a solar panel we've just put a solar panel there for the bass motor battery so during the day when we're not using it it, uh, it automatically um, re recharges so so far so good we've not run out of any bass motor um, battery just just yet there's a small bucket um, down there for a small boat um, really so that we don't have to pop our hands over the side um, to clean them after all the worm worm stuff gets on them so we don't want to get eaten by crocodile right moving on to the onto the back of the houseboat probably the easiest place to start and then we'll just walk everything through um, that side there where Wayne is standing is, a, is an outdoor shower which we've slowly turned into our shower and laundry laundry area so it's just a cold water shower pumped straight out the out the lake. Um, on the left hand side behind him, this is on the side of the of the boat we've used for our fuel storage, and we've just got a little um, netting shade cloth there to keep the direct sunlight sunlight off it. Um, this solar panel here, um, the black guy with the mirror, what looks like it, that's actually a little solar panel for the main motor starting battery. So it just charges that up to make sure it's always always topped up um, the other side of the back deck there gas bottles gas geezer for the for the shower um, then we just keep some of the hardware out the out the back there stuff that needs to go easily onto the onto the tender boat um, coming into the into the main boat um, on the left hand side is the toilet and the right hand side is the is the shower and and basin so there's also a port and starboard on the same boat but I think they all mean the same the same thing um, Right down the middle there is the is the engine compartment. Um, it's got a ZF drive. It's a Volvo Penta diesel, 50 horsepower as far as I, I know. Um, the battery on the left hand side is the starting battery, and the one on the right hand side provides power to the 12 volt lighting system and the pumping and the pumping system. Um, going through on the right hand side there, you'll see is a small kitchen, um, gas stove. Um, and some cupboards cupboards underneath and we seem to have managed to do most of our cooking on there um, we haven't really had much time to do any brying on the on the bank um, on the opposite on the opposite side of that is the, uh, the basin wash up wash up area with cupboards underneath and then in the center here is the stand up um, fridge fridge freezer and built onto the back of that is just a center console um, that houses some cutlery and so on and so forth. Down at the bottom there, those red things are the two batteries. So they're two uh, 200 amp hour uh, gel gel batteries. And tucked away right on the inside there, you can see the screen going there. That's the um, the 2.5 kVA inverter and the little switch box and the safety fuse and so on and so on and so forth. Um, the boat's got four berths. One, two. Another one at the front and then this one here. But for this journey we've changed it a little bit. Um, and this berth has become our kitchen. Um, it's got all of our provisions um, in, inside there. And then on the other end, which is this side, this side here, uh, we've turned into our where we've got our clothes and spare mattresses and our shirts and, and so on and so forth. Um, so that's been the little little change there. The front is a charging charging place. Um, USBs and 220 volts. Just at the top of the boat, there is quite a bit of storage at the at the top. 
um, where we've got some other containers and more long-term sort of type of type of storage we've got there. But the one thing that's new on the boat is the water purifier um, that I bought from a friend of mine called Parvin. Um, it runs off 220 volts and it takes in the lake water, reverse osmosis and so on and so forth and you get pure drinking water out the, out the bottom. Um, and we found it really, really useful. Um, and it's really great, great having it. So that's the, that's the type of, of purifier that it, that it is. And it hasn't used that much power off the, off the inverter. So we're still going strong on, on that. Um, obviously rubbish bins. We've got a rubbish bin either side of the boat. Put it all into, into bags. Um, deep freeze again in the center. Um, that's the one that makes the, makes the ice. I'll just show you quickly quickly inside so that's the the ice making bracket I suppose and um, that's inside there there's some very really small fish I'll get really close to you that rain caught and the, <laughs> the, the, my bigger ones are, are right down at the, at the bottom but uh, that's the deep freeze that's been keeping us keeping us going um, mosquito nets um, both of us have and are using that's Wayne's side that's that's my side um, that's where we drive the boat from. Um, we've got a low rinse, um, which is we, we've not used before much, but we're really getting quite good at it about plotting routes and waypoints and changing changing everything going going forward. So that's where the boat's, boat's driven from. It doesn't go much above nine k's an hour, um, so that's where it is. But it does have a hooter, <coughs> which makes it really posh. Um, a small front deck, um, which is there. We do have four chairs for it, but we've taken two chairs off to save on to save on space. Um, and then that's the little drinks chiller at the at the front there. Um, for this journey, what we've done is we've taken plastic crates, um, have filled them up with good soil and worms over a number of months, and we've been having the the worms conditioning themselves, if that's the right the right word. Um, and so far, so good. Um, they eat. Uh, cabbage and cardboard they like and egg boxes they they like and so far the worms have done really well um, and we haven't had any any problems problems with them um, front of the boat is a small um, stairway to to get on on and off um, and then we normally just moor it up with three points one in the front that runs moored onto a tree today and so is the other one um, because there's not much to to use on the on the bank um, the all-important JBL for, for the music and a little safe to keep some, some safety, things, safety things there. Um, the technical specifications of the boat are those. So what it says there, it's, its name is called Murangia, which is the, wives, the two wives' names of the people that built the boat, Muriel and Angia. So the boat is called Murangia. Um, it's 9.75 meters meters long, 5.4 tons when it hasn't got me on it, um, and it's licensed for eight for eight people. Um, it was a homemade boat um, built by uh, Ben Kedder and Tim Tim Cameron. Um, was built in Harare and then transported transported up here, and it was built in 1987. And we've had the boat since Wayne. When did we work it up? 2005. 2005 is when we've um, we've had possession of the of the boat, um, and so far so good. Um, obviously, a few dramas, as you always have with boats, but mostly all all okay. Um, a nice pair of binoculars, essential, um, given to me by by Wayne himself, um, and they do get used. They sort of an essential um, part of the of the boat. Um, at the top. I'll just show you up here a little trapdoor and a very little top deck. I'll just pop the camera up and turn it around. There's no need to, to go up there. Um, we very, very seldom go up there. So it's sort of too small. Um, and on a hot night, you can take your mattresses up there and then sleep sleep at the, at the top. Um, and I think that's about it. I don't think there's much more. Um, to, to talk about. Um, maybe we'll just show you the, the shower. So the barbell are back. Okay. Wayne is sank. I'm not sure if you can see them. And we, we do have some lines out actually that are there. So we've got one this side of the boat, one the other side of the boat. So hopefully we, we get them. So 
we had a go at them last night and Wayne was still learning how to use the reel and stuff like that but that's the the shower shower and and basin area of it so it does does have hot water and it does have a mirror um, for for doing makeup and stuff like that um, this is the toilet also known as the head um, so not such a great place but uh, it's okay it does the does the trick um, down at the bottom there is just the fuse box um, which was recently put in uh, for the 12 volt system and a good friend of mine Richard used the boat for the first time after I put that in and the blue lights just attract all the insects and all the mosquitoes and everything so it is a bit of a snag having blue lights on the instruments on the instrument panel but that's it